All right, that looks pretty good. And I can screw my wires onto there. Now I guess I need to make a switch. Oh, I should probably make a main kill switch too. Something that just disconnects the battery from everything. Um, okay, I'm sitting in my boat. I'm pretty sure the charge controller coil thing is gonna go right back here somewhere. Maybe hanging down a little bit because I don't want it to. I just want to give it a lot of air space around it so it can stay cool. But yeah, right behind. And then the switch. Where do I put the switch? I don't know. Right now, the switch I did have is right up here in the ceiling. I guess I could do that, but that means I have to run the big fat motor wires all up through here. I kind of wanted to run them more direct just along the side here because it would be a shorter route. Well, I guess it doesn't have to be. They are thick wire. I don't know. All right, I'm going to have to think about this. Where do I want to put this switch? I think I can cut a chunk out of this for the switch to mount it. And still have some copper pipe. Good thing. I always make my switches out of copper pipe. And they've been pretty good. I mean, you've been using them for years. Well, maybe one of them. No, it looks good. How long, though? Right. Okay, three part switch. So I want one piece hinged here, and then I want to touch one thing, and then another thing, and then another thing.
Ooh, look what I just found, a big fatty breaker switch. I don't remember the exact specs on it. However, I'm pretty sure, I'm like pretty sure they are within specs for what I'm doing right now. So I wanna put this somewhere that it can be a battery kill switch. I did get this guy screwed on. And my switch. I just put four of the bolts right through this. Okay, that guy's all wired in. Right down into the motor. I've got the negative connected through my big circuit breaker here. So that's off, that's on. And I think I have first and second speed connected right now. Okay, that, that guy's on. So when I do this, it should turn on. Oh, come on, turn on. Oh, nice, okay. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but I can tell it's, you know, by the sound that it's definitely faster on the second one. Oh, I gotta get this in the water. Oh, no, no, I need to finish wiring. The only thing I have left is the wire from the full speed wire. So I need a big fat wire coming from here to the motor. Wow, that's it, isn't it? Well, I still have to connect the front two solar panels, but that's... Yeah, most of the wires for that are already in here because they're in here from before. Anyway, yeah, to get the full full speed from the battery, just one wire from here to the motor. And it needs to be kind of a thick wire. That's going to be the most powerful. Well, I guess we should get a shot of the propeller spinning. Good looking stuff. Pretty sure I could use some six gauge wire. That looks like six gauge, although it doesn't have any writing on it. Okay, that's the last wire. Oh, beautiful. Kill everything. Yep, nothing works. Oh, that's great. Okay, last thing is to get the spider web off my face and connect the front two solar panels to the motor. I think I'm just gonna use the same switch I was using before. See, before I had all the solar panels on the top going through a switch to the motor, skipping all the, I mean, it didn't, didn't have any batteries in it for a while. Um, this boat's gone f through a few different changes. But most of the wiring is still here. That's the switch. Uh, I just need to wire these two front solar panels into the wires coming into the switch. Yeah, this should be a piece of cake. I just put those in with wire nuts. That should be fine. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah, I'm totally done. Wait, am I really done? Is that it? Oh. Okay, got the battery going through switches. Various speeds. Charging the battery. I got the solar panels. Two solar panels charging. Two solar panels on a switch directly to the motor. I can't test those because they're not in the sun right now. I presume they're working though. Dude, I think that's it. This boat is totally ready for business. Oh man, I can't wait to get this in the water. Oh, I'm gonna have to go to have dinner right now though. It's pretty late. The tide's too low to get the boat out anyway. When I pull it up out of the water, I need kind of high tide to, to get it out without hitting the bottom. Mostly just because of this propeller, right? The pedal propeller. The motor one's up higher, but the pedal one sticks out the bottom. I keep thinking about taking that off. I don't know though, no, yeah, whatever. So this boat, with the battery in it that it has right now, which is a 100 amp hour, 24 volt sock battery, that's the brand, S-O-K. They're supposed to be like high quality, will actually do what they're rated for, at least. So the motor only uses 39 amps, let's round it up to 40. 100 amp hours, that means this thing will run full speed for two and a half hours with like in the dark, no sun help at all. And the solar panels will give me, I don't know, something like 25 to 30 amps. But let's say I can count on 20 amps in decent sun. 
that's that's basically half the half the power of the full power motor so yeah if, if I even have just kind of reasonably sunny day I could drive this thing for five hours full speed you know how far I can go for in five hours full speed in this thing I'm gonna have to do a speed check see how fast it goes but like there's nowhere that I go there's no round trip that I do that would take me five hours in that boat so maybe maybe I need to start going to farther places man I can make it all the way to Costa Rica in this thing not, not that I need to go to Costa Rica.